today we're headed up to Prescott to work on the Project Saab some more. So we finally have some time to go up there. I'm really excited because it's been like three months since we've worked on the car. Uh, we have a list of parts that we're going to be putting on. There's like five things or so. I can't remember them all off the top of my head. But the most important thing we'll be doing is pulling the old ECU off and bringing it back with us because I got an ECU from the junkyard over here, excuse the dirty garage. So basically we're going to be getting the old ECU that is bad, cloning it, and so that way this ECU is basically going to be married to the new car, or to the car when we put it on. Besides that, we have that brake booster line that we still need to replace. We have something on the door panel that we're going to replace, the button switch, because we figured out that didn't work. Uh, for some of the windows last time, so it's probably the switch that is bad. We also have a center armrest, but with that being said, I figure it's time to head up there. We're back in the super windy Prescott beach outside, but the first thing we're going to be doing is removing the old ECU. So there's the three T30 Torx up top. We're going to start with those. I can hear the comments now, everyone's saying, wow, the engine bay looks so much cleaner than it did last time. Yeah. I insisted on cleaning it because it was disgusting. Now there's the four 10 millimeters. There's one there, one on that corner. That one has the ground on it. And then there's one down. Oh, the shadows, the, light of, the lighting is so bad too. Then on the bottom, there's one in the middle and one on the right there. Nice. There's the old ECU. There's some bugs in there. Maybe the bugs are what killed it. I doubt that. No, probably not, yeah. This thing is just a piece of shit. Once this car is running, all these videos will be filmed in the comfort of my garage and not in a wind tunnel in Prescott. So it looks like it's not going to slide off the whole way with the ionization module there. So we're going to take that off real quick. It's just two 10 millimeters, one here and one right there. All right. Got the ionization module out, so we'll set that aside. Mitsubishi. <laughs> Mitsubishi module. Heck? Is this an Evo? <laughs> it's an Evo. Wow. So hey now you can go ahead and slide that off very easily. There we go. So now this third connector right here is going to be the same. There's just one side that you have to press in. So trying to pull this off, because these are all so old and brittle, I broke a piece of it. But that allowed me to rotate it so I can make the clip more accessible and then just pull it off pretty easily. But now we can take the not broken long part of it out. Kind of have to like wiggle it. Ew! Stop. Yeah, there's oil all over it. Oh my god, that's disgusting. And right in the shadow so you can't see. Now you can see. <laughs> yeah, so she's got a pretty bad leak. Oh my god coming from the uh, power steering pumps. So once this car is running, we're gonna do what I did with mine and replace that. So great. Jeez, almost hit me with the door. <laughs> so you just kind of have to like snake it around and try not to break it. All right. Yeah, don't break it. No pressure. Well, I've been waiting like three months to install so we're going to connect that bottom one first. We just kind of had to snake it through here under the power steering pump and reservoir and then back out the top and we'll hook up those two after that. Now we can put the engine cover back on and pretend that there's an ECU there. Nice. This color looks so good in the sun. So the new window switch that I got that should work because some of the buttons didn't work on the old one has a little bit of plastic peeled on it so we're using a paint marker to cover those up and fix that. It's now turned into her doing it to every single one, I guess. This one's particularly bad. This one's ugly. Now you're gonna pull it up over the lock. So the switch module, whatever you wanna call this, goes in right here. There's the two connectors on the bottom, and then there's a clip at the end right here that you're gonna have to pull this out and it'll slide out. There's another clip right here that you'll pull this front part out and it'll slide out. And then there's another tab in the back that's kind of pushed into, but we should be able to pull this down enough to just slide it out backwards. So I'm gonna try and remove the old one now. 
that was pretty easy. So I would slide that front tab in there first. It gets super windy right when we make progress and try to talk, so that's always fun. Clip it in right there, it's clipped in down there. The most important thing that got replaced, this center mat, because there was disgusting shit over it before. He was so gross. Yeah, so that's replaced. And then I guess we're gonna use the paint marker around here on a couple spots that are starting to chip, but we're gonna clean it with some simple green. Of course, we pulled the center trim piece off first. You can see all the old parts that we've already replaced. And then after that, we're gonna replace this armrest and then we'll be done. There's actually some little spots that are chipped on this piece that we're gonna do it on instead, I guess. Cause that actually looks just about perfect now that it's clean. First step in removing this is pulling that out. There should be four little clips, but if you don't have back air vents like her, you can kind of just stick your hand in there and do it much more simply. Now if you look in here, camera focus, can you open the thing? See that arm rotate, close it. I'm gonna stick a flathead right in here. You're gonna pop it off. There are little nubs on each side, so you're going to separate using a flathead separate on each side of that nub and then you can slide it down and out so you have to do it on that side and on this side and now yep that was pretty simple when we did it at the junkyard removing this one honestly it was a little bit of a pain but now the new one should slide in pretty easily the old one yeah old one uh pretty obvious why it was getting replaced but should be a nice little touch and just push it up. Camera won't focus, but it's actually, it's very simple to slide it back into place. I would open it, make sure it's all good. Yep. Now put the fake air vent or your tiny little storage pocket back in there. It's a very audible sound. There you have it, that should wrap up episode three of the Project Sob. The next episode is pretty much already filmed. Uh, so the car has not started yet because it needs a new battery, just a little spoiler, I guess. But we're planning on going back up there by the time this video is live, and that should already be uh, have the new battery in it and be started. So if you guys are looking forward to that and wanna see what's going on with that, make sure to follow me on my Instagram for more up-to-date stuff on what's going on with that car. But with that being said, there's still plenty of work to do on that car once it's actually you know started and running so we have a whole laundry list of probably like 15 things that need to be done to it so there'll be plenty more content on that car to come with that being said that's it for today guys if you're excited to see this car run for the first time in six months hopefully with no check engine lights make sure to stay tuned for the next episode and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching